and welcome back. So far on this channel, I have made a dress, skirt, a coat, and a pair of pants, sort of. The one thing that I really have not gotten into making yet are shirts. So that's what I wanna do today is make some sort of a shirt or at least attempt to make some sort of a shirt. And specifically, I want to make the pirate shirt that Bernadette Banner put on her channel, I think sometime last year or the year before. I will not be hand sewing this because I wanna get this done in a day or so. But let me show you the fabric that I have in mind for this. So when I got married 12 years ago, I bought an entire bolt of white fabric to use as table linens and napkins and decor and that kind of stuff. And I got a great deal on it. It was an entire bolt, I think for 150 bucks. And I still have yards and yards and yards of this stuff in my house and I've given away a ton of it as well. So I have this white fabric. This is not all of it. This is a teeny, teeny sampling of how much of this white fabric I have, but it's got this very delicate floral pattern on it as well in white, and I'm pretty sure it's all cotton, but we're gonna burn test it because I can't remember if it's cotton or a cotton blend. So let's, let's do a little burn test and just see what it is. Smells like burning leaves and it caught really quick and it's got that really light fluffy ash to it. So this is all cotton, which is great. I suspected that it was, but it's nice to have proof. So I have that, but also while I was looking for this, I found other things that I completely forgot that I had and I have no idea where I got them in the first place. So just a quick surprise thrift no, it's not even a thrift. A surprise fabric haul from my own stash that I forgot about. So this is a blue and white gingham, like check gingham. There's probably only a yard of this, but I think it's silk. I, again, I don't remember A, why I bought it, or B, when I bought it, but now I need to make something out of it because it's beautiful and it's silk. I don't have a silk kind of lifestyle, but it's basically free fabric at this point, so I may as well have a silk lifestyle. And then, and then I found this. It's not really my style anymore, but again, surprise. And I think there's probably a yard, yard and a half of this. Yeah, about a yard. So if you guys know of anything that I could make with a yard of fabric that maybe would look good like this, just leave me a comment with a suggestion because what do you do with a yard of fabric? And then finally, I have this blue and gold, I think, stripe. But I have so much of this. What do you even do with this much? So not only do I have this, that is a lot, but I also have this whole other thing here and it looks like I cut it. I don't know, I don't know what I did. Yeah. So what do you make with something like this? where it doesn't look like you're in the circus. Anyway, surprise fabric all over, but if you have any cool suggestions on what I could do with these, just, you know, let me know. Okay, back to pirate shirts. I'll talk you through kind of my idea of how I'm gonna make this, and then we'll get things cut out and sewn together and just see what happens, and we'll go from there. So let's move on to the pattern. So I've shown you this pattern piece before because I used this with my wrap dress. I drafted it, drafted it from a shirt that I thrifted that fit pretty well. And all that means is that I took it apart and traced it out onto butcher paper or whatever paper this is. So this is kind of my standard go-to top pattern that I use for not much because I haven't made a whole lot of tops yet. But my plan is I'm going to use this just the way it is for the back and of course add length to it. 
And then for the front, I want to use the V for the front. And then I want to add a couple of inches to each shoulder so that I can gather it up into the back piece. That's my goal, I guess. And with this pattern piece goes the sleeve and I haven't used this yet. And of course, what I drafted it from was a short sleeve shirt, but I will use this rather than taper it like this is doing. I'm going to maybe widen it a little bit and create a long sleeve shirt, but I'll widen it so that I can gather it up into a cuff. These are all really big grand plans. We're gonna see if any of them work. Bruce is a little doubtful. Hey buddy, come here. Come here, what's the matter? Hi baby. As much as I hate ironing, I think I need to iron this mess before I can start cutting stuff out. So I'm gonna go iron and then get these cut out and we'll see how that goes. So Oscar has developed a um, feud with one of the other neighborhood cats. And every once in a while, I'll hear him out there kind of growling and hissing at this cat that I've nicknamed Cinnamon Roll because it's one of those swirly tabbies rather than a stripey tabby. But unfortunately, I think this cat is just better than Oscar. And I love Oscar. But uh, earlier today, Oscar was outside and I think he had a mouse underneath the grill. <laughs> and I heard him yell at something. And I look outside and there's Cinnamon Roll also trying to get the mouse. And Oscar is so focused on the other cat that he forgot about the mouse. And Cinnamon Roll managed to get the mouse and run away with it before Oscar even had a chance to process what was going on. So poor little Oscar. He's trying to learn to be a hunter, but he's just not. Not, not yet. Oscar just, he hasn't figured out the friend part of it. I don't think he wants a friend, but he ain't gonna get one that way, that's for sure. I think this was my first attempt at a circle skirt, and then I saw how much I was gonna have to hem at the bottom, and I quit. <laughs> I've been a lazy sewer forever. This is not a new condition for me. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then um, cut the pattern pieces out and see how that part goes. I've cut out my two body panels and my two sleeves. I haven't done the cuffs yet. So I'm gonna go sew those pieces together and see where we're at. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is gonna look like. It feels too easy to be good. So I'm kind of, I'm trying to just go with the flow. So hopefully this turns out okay. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I've attached the sleeve to a cuff 
and sewed fuzz onto it so it looks professional. And I've sewed up the sides. So far, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on with the cuff right now. And I'm going to attach this to the body and then try it all on. However, I have a feeling that the body of this is going to be too small for what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's a little more drapey, I guess. So I fully expect to have to remove the sleeves and redo the body of this. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'll get these attached to the body, try it on, and see what it looks like. Here is where I'm at with just one sleeve. It's a little long, which I don't mind, because whenever I put a button on it, I can get it to close right at the wrist, which means it will just kind of pool at the bottom. The shoulder, however, is, it drops down just a little too far. I want it maybe half an inch higher. I don't mind the puffiness that I've kind of got going on there. And the body part, like it's, it's not too bad. It's not as flowy as I was thinking it would be, maybe because I didn't leave enough space in the hips, but I can still get it on and off without having to rip any seams or anything. I don't hulk out of it. And I think it'll look good once it's got a collar on it. So I'm gonna just keep going with it. I'm gonna take this up just like half an inch so that the shoulders sit where I want them to sit. Same thing here, I will unpick this and bring it up maybe half an inch or so, and then um, get the other sleeve on and then work on a collar of some sort. I'm not sure what the collar is gonna look like just yet, but work on a collar. I mean, it's not too bad. It's gone together fairly quickly. So yeah, keep on trucking along because I don't have anything else to do because my internet went down. Sleeve number two. It is now day two and I didn't do a very good job yesterday of kind of explaining each individual piece of this, but honestly, once I got started, it went pretty quick. I would say the hardest part of this was probably constructing the cuffs and the collar, just because that took more engineering than the body and the sleeves themselves. I think it's something that could easily be done in a couple of hours and it turned out so well that I think I'm gonna make another one before I do the reveal here in a minute. So anyway, I hope you enjoy my final product because I'm stoked. These are pretty cool. And uh, I'll see you after the reveal. Enjoy it.
ta-da! Two pirate shirts in one weekend. Each of them probably took me maybe five or six hours and that was with hand sewing the cuffs and the collars on. So really, these are pretty quick projects, as you can probably tell. I didn't follow Bernadette's video. This was more inspired by her and I still love the way they came out. If you're interested in giving this a shot, go watch her video first so that you can see how to do it properly, I guess, and give it a shot. They're pretty easy. If you like this video, give it a like, let me know what you wanna see next, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.